Peace, power, and protection of my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Happy hump day to you lovely souls. A rare drip. <laughs> I will, each and every one of you are doing amazing. I'm feeling balanced, grounded, and in alignment on this lovely day. Today is the full moon, beloveds, depending upon your locality. And this is going to be a very powerful powerful energy to work with. You may receive some powerful revelations this month. Um, you may start or embark on some brand new uh, voyage, some brand new venture um, this year. I feel uh, a sense of like following your dreams, uh, moving to the beat of your drum, uh, positioning yourself assertively to go after something that you desire. Um, this is a sense an, and an air and energy of confidence. Um, I really feel like you've put a lot of hard work, a lot of attention and intention uh, into whatever you are pursuing. And you're going to see uh, a lot of beautiful results come from your hard work, uh, your labor. I'm hearing laborous. It's been a very laborous and a very... Uh, diligent quest on your behalf to obtain whatever this is. Um, I just feel like there's a victory ahead. I feel like there's a lot of acknowledgement uh, from your guides, your spirit team, your angels. I feel like they're proud. I feel like there's also a reward um, for your efforts, your hard work. So this isn't uh, just some happenstance that you're receiving something or obtaining something. As I've mentioned in a former reading, I strongly feel uh, that this is something that you have earned and it is going to be a beautiful, beautiful surprise. Um, you may find it a miracle. You know, this may be one of those prayers or a petition or something you may have been manifesting for, you know, quite some time and it is materializing into this physical reality. Um, so I just get a beautiful, beautiful sense of just this peace that you feel because it's as if you you feel like you can now let your hair down, um, you know, uh, or you could just kind of like just breathe that sigh of relief um, because I feel like this is something that you've been pursuing uh, for quite some time. Um, or something you've been working on, even if this is something within yourself, uh, you know, healing yourself at a soul level or working through some sort of trauma. Um, I feel like you are now reaching um, the end of that journey. Um, and this is a beautiful feeling, beautiful energy. Um, and, and you should feel proud of yourself. Uh, definitely give yourself um, some credit uh, for what you've been through, definitely give yourself that grace that you need, um, you know, to recover, you know, to get back to who you uh, are, you know, because there's there's that mode of, you know, redis you know, rediscovering or, or, um, you know, this 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 rediscovering of the self, you know, after going through a very uh, transformative uh, time. And it's just beautiful the way this is playing out. I'm hearing happy endings. Um, I'm just feeling like there's just light at the end of the tunnel. tunnel. Uh, so if you've been going through some dark periods, I feel like you didn't just stay somewhere stuck. Like you just kept going, you kept pushing, you kept believing, you kept walking in faith, you kept telling yourself, I can. You didn't say I couldn't or I can't. You didn't believe the hype when people was telling you how hard something was going to be. Um, or that you couldn't do something like you just, you know, your motivation and inspiration was to prove everyone wrong, including yourself, if you ever doubted yourself. And I feel like now you're reaching that pinnacle point where you're obtaining whatever it is you've been working so hard for. So even if that is in uh, pertinence to your education or going to school for certifications or licensing or degree, um, you know, whatever this is, I feel like it's something that you have absolutely earned. Um, and so I really strongly just feel like uh, there's rewards coming in for that because you've persevered and, 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 and just, you know, showed how strong you are. You leaned on your strength and you remembered uh, that, you know, 
there's no nothing to fear whatever challenges that you could have been facing maybe there was a point in time where you were afraid to embark upon that because maybe you just talked yourself out of it talking about all the work it's going to take and how much money it's going to you know cost you or whatever that may be and it's just like you had to hush all of that noise in order to brave your light and to uh pursue whatever um you really truly uh, passionately desire to and uh, in following you know your your heart's truest desires you're now on the other side of the spectrum uh, where there is victory you know where there is this this level of success that you've been able to obtain because you uh, you braved your light you know you you realize uh, that you know you had to turn whatever that pain was and and you had to turn it into power or, or whatever that was you was fearing you you realized that was false evidence appearing real and you faced everything and you know proved everyone wrong so uh you faced everything in rows you you rose like the phoenix from the ashes um you reemerged transformed not just in your physiology physiolo physiologically um but mentally, psychically, emotionally, like you started to tap into your powers as well. Uh, so I feel like there's just this this acceptance of 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 yourself that you may not have ever felt, you know, or that you haven't felt perhaps since a child, since a youth, you know, where you haven't ever felt this free. You know, I just get a sense of free, feeling free. Um, you know, not feeling blocked, not feeling. Uh, guarded or or not guarded but not feeling um, like anyone could block you you know not feeling like there's anything that could um, you know block you from what you desire because you have you're owning the fact that you are the sole controller of your destiny so it's like you you've gone within you've checked with self the higher self you're no longer uh, you know accepting any external um, advice, you're no longer uh, seeking out validation or approval. Um, you're checking in with self, you're checking in with your higher self. So I feel a lot of meditation, a lot of connecting with the body, perhaps you're doing a lot of yoga, maybe you're doing kinetic, kinetic Reiki healing. Um, but I feel like there's now this inner consultation that you are, um, having with the self and that's where you're receiving divine knowledge um, and it's also it's activating you I feel your pineal gland is like opened I feel a lot of you have changed your livets um, you've been eating lighter you've been lighter on your feet your skin may be clearing up um, you may just see things starting to open up for you the more you uh, start to connect with your higher self uh, the more you start to connect with your spiritual self, your spirituality, um, you'll notice that everything around you starts to improve um, because you're building and developing that relationship with Source, with the Most High, uh, with your ancestors, your angels, your deities. So many of you could be devoting a lot of time uh, where you are giving offerings on your altars or you're devoting a lot of time connecting with those energies, you know, whether it be our Archangel Mikael on Tuesdays or a Baba Ogun on a Wednesday or a Mama Oshun on a Friday or a Mama Yemenya on a Monday or Baba Alegua on a Monday, like you are connecting with them on those days and you're giving offerings and you're working with that energy and setting intention and you're seeing you know the results of your hard work you've been working very hard I feel like you've all been like very much um, isolated as you've worked uh, really really particular about who you allow in during those times because it's very um, imperative to always be mindful of your uh, circle your cipher who you have around you who you're sharing uh, you know very um, you know pertinent information with so when you are in those um, those modes or in those time uh, in those uh, periods where you are manifesting um, perhaps you were very uh, mindful to um, do so quietly 
you know, to do so without broadcasting it and letting people know like, oh, right now I'm doing blase, blase, blah. And, you know, perhaps that's why, uh, you know, there were some blockages or delays in the past because maybe you were just sharing, um, you know, with people you thought you could entrust um, and you found like a lot of times what you were manifesting, it simply wasn't coming through. And maybe it was because you were sharing a little too much. And so this time around, I feel like there was more of an intention to be very hush and very quiet and very private about your sacred practices. And so now you're starting to see everything that you've been asking for materialize and manifest. Um, and it's very beautiful. Um, this energy that I'm feeling because I feel like spirit is acknowledging. I feel like the rewards, the blessings are coming straight from source uh, because they're acknowledging um, your efforts, your work. Uh, I feel like you're, you're, uh, you were diligent, you know, you were very focused, very intentional, as I said, um, in obtaining and, um, you know, obtaining and pursuing certain goals or certain endeavors and and you're absolutely going to see uh, rewards you're going to see um, a lot of blessings pouring in for you Scorpios because you've been through the thick of it you've been through the mud and you dusted yourself off and got back up and kept going got knocked down you dusted yourself off picked yourself back up and kept going you did not get distracted you did not get discouraged and that is the thing about Scorpios that will never be um, overstood by others. It's like when people project their insecurities onto a Scorpio, because we're natural healers, because we are the conduits of change and because we can transmute energy, when we come across that energy, um, what they think or what they may be uh, hoping to do is to slow you down or to convince you um, that you're not good enough. You know, even when you're at your weakest, uh, baby, the motivation and inspiration of someone telling you something you can't do, oh, beloved, watch me work. Those are the beautiful prime times of my life is when somebody said, you can't or questioned my ability, beloved, rose like a phoenix, beloved, rose like the phoenix, and it astounded folks. So I feel that is the energy in the air that you all are embodying right now. Folks are astonished. And I'm hearing, pick your lip up. You know how when somebody's mouth is open, like in astonishment, that's literally what I heard in my mind's eye. Like pick your, <laughs> pick your lip up, like close your mouth. Like, yeah, it's that real. Like you don't ever sleep on a Scorpio. Like sleep is the correct term. Don't ever sleep on a Scorpio because when you tell them what they can't do they will show and prove beloveds that's just what they do how you gonna sleep on a transformative energy that's one thing we rule is regeneration you know um, rebirth renewal like so we got the re -re's on lock don't don't question you know, just watch us work. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So that's the energy, the air that I'm feeling is beautiful. This full moon, you know, some of you all may be utilizing this energy um, to manifest. I feel like there's some beautiful wish fulfillments coming in. Maybe you've been using the last couple of moon, full moons these past uh, four months, you know, to, to manifest. And this is the season, you know, the seizing of your your uh, requests, your petitions, they're, they're budding, you know, they're blossoming now. Um, and I feel like there's a harvest. You're going to uh, grow a harvest. This is something that you'll be able to eat off for a long time. You know, I'm talking about like this is not just, you know, you good for 30 days, a month, maybe this year. But I feel like there's a consistent flow. You know, there's a consistent and steady flow that is going to return to you all. And it's because you did the work. So, you know, all I could do is clap it up for you and say kudos to you beloveds, you know, that have been doing your work, that have been really um, being mindful uh, of, of what you're participating in, what you're allowing to, you know, yourself to ingest, whether, you know, sonically, um, you know, whether uh, orally, you know, whether even just emotionally, psychically. It's like you, you have to be very mindful of you know, what you are allowing um, into your temples, beloved, um, because 
uh, there's a lot of things that can break down your energetic walls and negativity being one of them um, but also other people's um, you know very very uh, very meticulous uh, very distracting uh, type of energy you know being very strategically uh, like manipulative in situations that's why it's imperative to you know assess your cipher assess the people you have around you assess the individuals um, you know that you may you know be calling friend or family you know it's really important um, to always do your due diligence um, and just assessing things you know making sure that everything around you right now is on your frequency everyone around you has something to add on to the build because that's what you're doing is you're building you're not destroying um, and so if there's people who can come in and add puzzle pieces and not take away um, then that's that's a beautiful sign that you have a strong you know strong partnerships and, and and it's imperative to start building those as well you know connecting with your soul tribe connecting with the soul family with your you know with your cosmic companions or your kindred spirits um, this is a time for us to form like Voltron especially if you want to change the energy and vibration of this planet um, because there's some diabolical things going on and there's also some really beautiful awakenings and breakthroughs taking place but it is going to affect the whole you know um, so we have to stay abreast to what's going on around us but not so much where it starts to um, emotionally drain us um, you know when things don't start feeling right sitting right in your spirit as you're listening to it turn it off you know and, and one of my tricks when I hear something or when something, you know, especially like, you know how you watching, um, you know, a, a, a show um, and an advertisement comes on and it's some freaking pharmaceutical medication and they're just drilling you and programming. You don't even realize it, but they're programming you to be sickly, you know, and so they're sitting here with these corny commercials, infomercials, and they're always depicting it like these people are living their best lives because they're on this freaking medication, taking this poison. And when you hear them, they're like, you may stop breathing. Your heart's just going to stop and explode if you take this. Pro like they, if you literally listen to it, they're telling you all the reasons why you shouldn't. But because they have these smiling faces and these freaking slow moving people with the dogs and the happy face, you think that it's something good. So it's like they're literally conditioning and programming you to be sickly. And so whenever I hear that, whenever it, it enters into my, you know, in, like into my cypher, I immediately be, be like block block blocker. I, I just block up blocker or delete delete delete. Like because I just I don't like that vibration. That's not for me. Or I'll mute the TV if I get you know the opportunity to before it starts. But you know be sure to be mindful. Even the things like you know the the subconscious minds pick up picks up on things that you may not hear initially. You know that the conscious mind is picking up on. So there any back noise and if there's just like words and things that are like you know really dark it's like your mind your subconscious mind is picking all of that up even though you're not you know like tuning in and listening to it but it is picking it up that's why it's very important when you're resting at night to not be listening to other people not be listening to silly shows or watching crime shows and like no like listen to you know binaural sounds um listen to jazz Listen to classical music. Listen to things that are going to, you know, ignite something in you or awaken something in you. But not that gloomy, dark-ish that's scripted and it's programming your mind to think a certain way or to be opened up to some unfortunate, you know, circumstance. It's like, no, we, we, we don't listen to other people. If you're going to listen to anyone, record a guided meditation with your own voice and listen to that as you rest but n don't ever leave TVs on there's a lot of people who feel like oh I can't go to bed unless my TVs running that's not good man between the radiation and the freaking nonsense that your brain is absorbing you know taken in remember the brain is a muscle and if you're feeding it too much nonsense it's like it, it becomes like gibberish at the at the end of the day so it's like be mindful of what you're listening to you know be mindful of what you're allowing yourselves um, to take in 
you know, we also have to be very prepared um, to start being more self-sufficient out here, more resourceful, um, because you don't know what's coming. And I don't want to put any particular narrative out there, but when we have all of these, um, you know, reports of food shortages and they're showing big tanker trucks going into underground bunkers and, you know, you got to ask yourself what's really good. You know, I'm talking about like I go into grocery stores that used to be so stocked up that ish was falling off the damn top of the shelves. But now you go in and they're giving you the illusion that things are full because they're bringing all the ish from the back to the front. Because there's it's it, the, the truck days are looking light around here nowadays. So it's like you have to start thinking of more resourceful ways to protect yourself, your family, to be able to provide for yourselves and your family. So perhaps adopting a green thumb out here, ladies, gents, like brothers and sisters, like you can't be solely dependent upon a grocery store or a supermarket to feed you. You know, now it's time to start thinking outside of the box, um, looking at things from a completely different perspective because life as we knew it, beloveds, it is gone. It is never returning to that. We are now in a whole new world. Things have changed rapidly just in a matter of three or four years. And so now is the time if you have a little window, you know, if you live in New York and you have a fire escape outside of your window, you can plant produce and grow produce right from there. I've seen abuelas do it for years. I've seen grandmamas from the South do it for years in the Bronx. You know what I'm talking about? So we, we got to start being more resourceful. If you have a backyard or a porch or any outside setting where natural, you know, sunlight can, can hit, you know, and, and grow that seed that you've planted, then you need to start, you know, considering doing that because you don't ever want to be out here dependent on any system. If you do not have a weapon and you a single mother out here or a single father out here, now is the time to start considering getting registration, getting licensing so that you can protect your family because you don't know what's to come. I don't want to sound like, you know, but I'm just saying like we got to be, we have to always be prepared. You know, you, you, it's better to be prepared than not. It's better to know like, okay, if some ish jump off, I know me and mine's is good than not. You know what I'm talking about? Your ancestors was rocking, like they had the guns, the shoddies, like you, you got to protect what's yours, you know. And so with all this stuff that's going on globally with these politicians, these politi the politics is starting to be become exposed. So many things have been exposed in just a short period of time. We're only in month four. And look at all the different changes that have occurred in this short period of time globally. There's so many things happening right now. And I'm not saying to tune in and get scared. This is not a scare tactic. This isn't about being fearful. This is about being ready. You got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Because if you have to get ready, you're going to get left behind, beloveds. So it's really time to start thinking outside of the box and to start really connecting with your energy so that you can get the downloads straight from your angels and guides to prepare you for what you need to be doing. You know, it's no longer about following other people we got to go within we got to go internal you know what i'm talking about that's where the answers are that hermit has been showing up in a lot of scorpio's readings and it's because it's very imperative for you to take that time and it's not like i gotta tell y'all that because i'll be preaching to the choir because most of y'all most of y'all i would say 99.9 percent .9 of y'all are already hip to what i'm saying i'm not saying nothing new under the sun to y'all you know what I'm talking about? Like, you know this. But it's just a confirmation. It's just a nod like, yep, sis is on point. Yep, I was just saying that yesterday to Shirley. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, so this this is the mode that we should be on. Stay in a high vibration. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep reminding you. This isn't a fear tactic. This isn't about scare tactics. This is just to prepare, like, tell you, stay ready. Stay ready. You always have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You never know what's to come. Never get comfortable. Even if you're in parts of, you know, the, the country where you can't have a weapon. Well, get that weapon you can have. You know what I'm talking about? Keep it locked away, but have it somewhere where if you have to protect yourself, then you you good. Like, you don't ever want to be in a position where, you know, someone could overpower you. Or someone could enter into your home and you don't have no means. You're going to throw pots and pans at a mofo. 
I mean, whatever works. But I mean, like, wouldn't you pre- pre- prefer to be able to be like, look, who goes there? <laughs> hark, 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 who goes? <laughs> but I digress, beloved. You already know I do. I'm a silly Billy. But let's go ahead and proceed with the read. That's the energy I'm picking up. Let's see what the cards say, beloveds. Ah, shit. So let's see what we got playing on the playlist. It is 538 on the Klizox. So that's 8-8. Eight, eight. And we know that 8-8 eight, eight breaks down to 16, which is why 7. So 7 is the crown. 7 is also the chariot. That's moving forward. That's assertiveness. That's confidence. That's all that energy that I was feeling in the beginning of the reading. That 7 is also, um, you know, associated with the crown chakra. Maybe you're having a lot of dreams. So keep a dream journal. Be mindful of, of the dreams that you're having. Um, be mindful of the numbers or the sing symbolisms you may see in your dreams. Um, be mindful of certain um, statements, you know, that someone you know may say to you or you may say to another person. I feel like your dreams are going to be very important this month. Like there's going to be some really um, important or per, uh, um, some very uh, pertinent uh, downloads, you know, transmissions. Uh, that you are going to be receiving um, during this full moon, perhaps. Um, I also feel like you all are very, very much amplified psychically. You are tuned in. I think that there's someone thinking about you day and night, or maybe you are constantly thinking of someone. And it's because there is this mutual thought of the other. Um, so strong energy uh, with that seven of just like, you know, finding some sort of balance, harmony, um, even equilibrium. You know, maybe there is this energy of just, you know, finally finding some sense of balance within yourselves. Um, and now you feel that air of, of confidence. You feel, you know, you feel good, you know, about whatever decisions you're making because you know that before you take action, uh, before you take the reins, you've already assessed everything. You've already weighed the pros and cons. Um, that seven also, you know, the chariot, uh, the depiction on traditional tarot, you'll see a black horse and a white horse, which is also very indicative of yin yang, um, of balance. You know, uh, you know that that's the uh, um, that energy of duality. Uh, and so maybe that could be an indication that you may have like a twin coming in or some soulmate or someone that is a sacred, um, you know, a sacred companion or this uh, it could be a sacred connection um, that you may develop with this person. But I just get a strong sense of someone could be coming in. I hear a yes answer. Um, I, 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 and this is coming quickly. I just feel yes. Um, I feel like there's a green light that like something's rushing in for you all so what we have playing on the playlist let me get it together do 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 my son takes my phone even though he has his phone and we have all of his little playlists he's under look at this so so fun it's like 45 tabs opened <laughs> cray cray all right, so let's find the playlists and see what we got playing. Shuffle the Zek. And so who is this? This is Ro James. And this is called Permission. So what did I just say? I said that you're going to get a yes answer from spirit or something's moving forward. This is like, you know, this is like that green light, you know? So if you get permission to do something, that's like someone giving you a yes answer. That's like someone saying, yes, you're good to go. You can move, you know, right, moving right along. So there is um, some sort of um, yes answer. Or there's a, a, a golden opportunity that's opening up a window of opportunity. Spirit corrected me, a window of opportunity that's opening up. Um, and I feel like the reason why it changed from golden opportunity to window of opportunity is because divine timing is of essence. So this is a matter of uh, taking action and not not, you know, not wasting time. You know, you have to know when to go through the door. So there's going to be an opportunity that's going to present itself. And this is a I'm hearing that this is going to be like um, 
something that it's it's a rarity and so that's why that went that's why spirit said no the window of opportunity um because it's a short period of time that you're going to have to um take action i'm getting so you're getting a permission you know but there's a there's going to be perhaps maybe some some um you know i i don't want to say a catch to it but there's going to be some like there's going to be some a fine print or some some other lingering um factors or details that are going to make you you know you're going to have to you know use your intuition to determine whether or not it's going to be best for you but there is a window of opportunity which is good because a window of opportunity is just you know another way for you to um reach a goal you know um that's like you know if spirit is giving you permission then that's literally that you could turn that that opportunity into a lucrative one so that's beautiful so with that permission you're getting a green light beloved so let's see what we got from the uh, numerology deck love it so we got 77 spirituality here and remember we opened up the reading with seven because it was 8 30 uh 534 pardon me or 535 which was 8 8 16 7 so that's 777 so some of you all could be seeing 777 some of you may have a uh, life path number of seven maybe you were born on the 7th of November the 25th of October maybe you're dealing with someone who was born in July or maybe their solar return falls on a 7 or on the 14th or on the 5th of a month um, maybe you are November 14th whatever the case may be I definitely feel like whoever this is this is a beautiful connection because this is a spiritual one sacred one I was picking up on that with the chariot and here we are we're here we are with the seven seven and the chariot as i said has that black and that white horse which represents the yin and the yang energy which is feminine and masculine so this is showing again that you are attracting someone on your frequency someone on your vibration um and this is someone that could be coming in um and spirit is saying all you got to do is say yes beloveds i'm hearing flowetry all you gotta do is say yes don't deny what you feel, baby. Young man, think. <laughs> Open up your mind and just rest. I'm about to let you know you make me so, 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 so. All you gotta do is say yes. That's why Spirit was saying permission because you're maybe you are the one that has to give someone the green light. Because they're coming in towards you. Maybe you coming off a little guarded and they're coming in all hot and bothered like the chariot. And you probably on your seven of wands like, arc, arc, who goes there? <laughs> just like I said, like super protective, super guarded, you know. And that's just because that's where, um, you know, whatever you went through in the past, that's just your, that's your, that's your vibes right now. It's like, yo, you don't get past these defenses unless you pass the test, you know. And the test is the energe energetic test, <laughs> you know. So it's like maybe that. That's the energy but this is definitely a spiritual or sacred connection strongly I do feel like there's a lot of communication back and forth um, whether this is telepathically intuitively whether someone is astral traveling remotely watching you whether someone's dreaming of you thinking of you day and night whatever that is I just feel a lot of like cerebral activity it's on like overdrive you know um even the dream activity someone could be dreaming of someone constantly seeing this person's face in their dreams maybe they've dreamt of someone seven times this year already and that's just like spirits like okay yeah okay that's that's definitely the person i need to reach out to but with that 14 the 7 7 breaks down to 14 that's five i do feel strongly like there's been some growing you know, someone's been doing a lot of growing behind the scenes. Someone's been doing a lot of, um, you know, perhaps even, um, you know, evaluating the self, you know, even seeking out perhaps wise counsel, you know, from perhaps maternal or paternal figures around them, maybe even their own mothers, their fathers. Um, but this is someone really uh, taking onus and accountability to to grow, to to mature. You know what I'm saying? So this is an energy of like tutelage, of studentship, like being um, humble in a situation to say, yes, there's more I need to learn. There's more I need to do to work on myself. Um, and this is someone that is absolutely uh, having some sort of, um, you know, profound 
uh, revelation, you know, during this time of of um, working on the self. I feel there's also uh, some sort of realization of their path, their passion, their desires, um, perhaps their soul's mission, purpose. Um, I'm getting like past life vibes even as well with this energy, uh, especially with the spirituality. I just feel like that's the reason um, that this connection feels so intense is because it could be from a past life, a former life. We have um, Gregory Isaacs, and this is called Let Me Be the Special Guest. And this came out in 1977. And so that 77 breaks down to 14 again. And that 14 breaks down to five with that one. That's six. So this is someone from your past. I was speaking of past life. So even if you haven't bumped into this person in this lifetime, uh, when you bump into this person, you'll feel like you've known them all of your life if you've never met them. There will be a synergy or a chemistry, similarity, familiarity. There will be a likeness, perhaps in the same type of music. Maybe you like the same music. Maybe you're both on um, some new uh, spiritual quest. You know, maybe you're both interested in, um, you know, um, I don't know, music, whatever the case may be. It's like there's there's similarities, familiarities. This is a like minded person and this connection is very sacred. It's written in the stars. Um, we have on the split. Look at that. You got two synchronistic, uh, two double numbers. And if you are new here, whenever I see double numbers. Again, that lets me know that the person or whatever you're attracting to you is mirroring your energy. So spirit is saying show some compassion when this person does return because I do feel like they're trying to make a decision or work something out to return. But you may be coming off very guarded. Um, you may be coming off with with a lot of boundaries, like very protective um, of your energy because I'm getting like the nine of wands uh, and I feel this is perhaps stressing this other person out because I feel there's a nine of swords vibration on their behalf where they're kind of like waking up in the middle of the night after dreaming of you but stressing because dang there's distance there's no communication there's no contact but this person feels the strong chemistry or the strong uh, connection to you and for you this could be your energy towards them or theirs towards you I feel spirit is reminding you not to judge and more importantly, to, to always be forgiving um, because we know not what we do. There was a time where you didn't know the information that you know, and now you can act accordingly. So perhaps this person, um, you know, could have learned a lot just by bumping into you. Um, and you've taught them something very valuable. And, and they've taken those lessons uh, very sacred. Like they, they hold this lesson uh, perhaps that you've taught them about themselves and this is something that they they really value about you uh, because you do have that healing and nurturing uh, quality maternal or paternal quality about yourself but this energy right here is just further you know you know confirming the fact that there is um, this this likeness uh, someone that speaks your love language perhaps someone that's on the same frequency vibration or someone just simply on the same wavelength um, there is a desire to communicate um, but I feel there's a whole lot of blocks a lot of you know um, you know distance emotionally mentally spiritually so we have my tie and this is called female intuition and this came out in 1986 and so that 86 reduces to what? Uh, 14, that's 15, wait. Um, 15, yeah, that's six. <coughs> and so that's six. So this is that person yet again. Every time I talk about someone from the past or talk about this person, that number six shows up, which is giving me like the lovers, you know, that union, that sacred union, or it's giving me the six of cups, which is like that past person, someone who has regrets. If you did meet this person, this is someone that could have, you know, they could have chose other options in the past, could have been distracted, could have abandoned or rejected you in the past. It could have been um, unrequited love, circumstances, situations. So they thought, and now they're, you know, trying to figure out how to return because maybe they, you know, maybe this is a, a case of, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda, you know, um, feeling a missed opportunity. But look what we have on the bottom of the deck. 
spiritual partnership. So this is a sacred connection. I was picking up on that um, in the very beginning. I was feeling like, you know, perhaps a twin flame of some sort or a kindred spirit. And here we have it. So this is a connection that you're going to immediately feel um, the, the chemistry. I feel like your energies, it's like, it, it's just going to be like a magnet. It's just going to like, you're going to just <laughs> cling together like boom. Like even when you first meet this person, I feel like not only will the first conversation be that, that because that's really like when a Scorpio is interested in someone, the, mo the most important quality, um, and I can only speak from my own vantage point. I know that other Scorpios that I've, you know, been around, they've also um, veggie backed this point was the intellect, the, the how that the depth of the conversation, you know, that's always what that that's what gravitates you to a person is, is just how informative, how deep, you know, um, the, the, the connection can go. And I feel like that's going to be one of the des deciding factors for you is that the first conversation I just see you know, the sun rising. I feel like there's going to be a conversation that lasted all night into early a.m. And you're still going to be interested and, 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 and engulfed in the conversation. You still It's just like it's that stimulating. It's that refreshing to speak to someone that gets it. It's like, oh, my God, they get it. And so it's just like you don't even want the conversation to end because it's like you. it's just very exciting to even find someone that's on that frequency or that is that you know informed on that level so it's like the conversation just continues and it builds and it grows and the next time you speak to them it's even more of the same and then it's just like you both just you cling to one another and so when you meet that is going to be very very um powerful because i feel like that's from there it's just like you're going to be with that person from that point on like there's no there, you're not going to be single after this after this meeting and you're going to know it you're going to know it when you feel it when you when you are around this person you're just going to know it intuitively instinctually you're just going to know this is the one Q was talking about <laughs> you know what I'm talking about so this is powerful and so um you know with that song uh with my tie female intuition um, trust your intuition, you know, because that seven is also the crown chakra. And, you know, the crown just really um, emphasizes the personal growth, you know, uh, being in spiritual alignment, coming into that spiritual knowledge, tapping into that Christ consciousness, that God frequency, being in the flow. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I said that it, you feel very amplified at this time. But the spiritual partnership, this is coming for you, Scorpios. And I feel like it's a, this is something you all could have been manifesting or calling in. You know, like this is it's just your time. I feel like it's about divine timing and it's your time. That's why permission came on. That's why what's opened up, you know, that's what opened up the reading was permission. Because it's like spirit is conspiring behind the scene to bring this person in. It's like... Q Scorpio's love interest now because this is the season for it. This is beautiful. And I recall doing readings for Scorpios in the winter, in the fall time, and they kept emphasizing spring. I was hearing spring is sprung. I was I, I remember those readings and I kept seeing the spring part, springtime. So it's very powerful how, you know, this is all unfolding. So let's tap into it, beloveds. So we got Kendrick Lamar, and this is called Rich. So you are absolutely going to live rich. And rich isn't just about material wealth. I am strongly hearing spiritual wealth. Spiritual. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I cannot emphasize that word spiritual because material wealth is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's good to be able to have enough money to go do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and to give back. Um, but your spiritual bank account, I feel like that's what's being you know, replenished right now because whatever you've experienced in the past, it's like maybe you felt depleted and you, you felt lost, but that's that, that, that's that renewal. That's that regeneration, like rebuilding yourself, changing your mindset, the death of the old version of you and the birthing, the reemergence of a new and improved and stronger and more beautiful, more confident version of yourself. That's, that's amazing. So we have a card that flew out a couple of them actually too. Oh, three. So we have, look at that, rebirth. I was just talking about renewals and rebirth, and this is what flew out. So this rebirth, this transformative, you know, um, 
um, energy that you've just had or that you're experiencing right now, it is ushering in new energy, a, a beautiful, fresh new start. We also have spiritual partnership. This, I can't make this up. And we have 93 happy ending. I cannot make this up. I literally said in the beginning of the reading that I felt that you was going to have a happy ending. I also said because of a transformation, because you've grown, because you've done your, your work, your internal work, it's important, it's imperative to heal at a soul level, to heal past pains, traumas, and to get to that space of healing, you have to go through you know, the necessary processes. You have to get to the root cause. If you don't know what you're supposed to work on, you can't work on it. But I feel like there was a moment, a death of, you know, of, of an old ideology belief system, perhaps the death of a relationship, a partnership, a friendship, maybe the death of a loved one has caused or triggered a transformation within you, which caused you to look at life from a completely different lens, a completely different perspective. And you started to realize that you have to work on yourself. Love is an inside job. You got to take care of you. If you're attracting a bunch of the dun -dun dunts or you have a bunch of people that don't appreciate and value you for what you can, you know, what you can provide, then those are not the people that you need to be with. Those were opportunists. Those were people that were like, you know, energy vampires. Perhaps they were people who were... Um, you know, just fake individuals wearing a mask just around you to be a leech, you know, just just leeching off of you, parasites living off of you, using you as a life force. And, and you realize that. And there was a death. There was a death of, you know, something within your own mindset that had you feeling like you didn't deserve more, like this was the best you can do or that you you you, you weren't worthy. You know, so whatever that insecurity was, you 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 rectified it. You you got that ish up out of here, that lack mentality, and you changed, you transformed, and as I said, you emerged someone new. Whoever you're attracting, whatever you're attracting, this is a spiritual partnership. Those cards flew out of my hand as I was shuffling. So those cards chose themselves. So spirit is confirming and validating everything I just said without the cards. The happy ending, this is how that person feels about you. Because when they're coming in, they're coming in with this knowingness of this connection and how deep the depth of it, who you are. I feel like this person knows who you are as they're coming in and they're coming in to pursue you. And if this is not the person's energy and feeling, this could be yours, it could be a vice versa. You flip it as, it, as necessary. But this happy ending is assured. This is exactly what I was seeing in my mind's eye when I was giving you all the breakdown in the beginning of the reading and you heard me if you didn't rewind but I digress so this person sees you as a ray of sunlight they see you as beautiful they see you as strong they see you as someone who has persevered through some really tough times tough cycles this person is having a completely different perspective of you because that 93 breaks down to 12 that is the hanged man so they're looking at you from a different perspective they're seeing you in a whole new light and what they're seeing is you bring a lot of joy, you bring a lot of wisdom, wise dome, that you bring happiness, your 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 love, your light, your radiant, your regal, your royal. This person realizes they love you. That is the grand epiphany. This is how they feel about you. And the seven and three breaks down to ten. They can see themselves building with you, building a legacy. Having that happy spouse, happy house vibes. Like I said, they see you as a like-minded individual. Someone that they have, um, you know, that they can, you know, cultivate and nurture and build with. Someone that wants to be willing to, you know, that's going to be willing to compromise in the connection. Someone that will be supportive because I'm getting the Ten of Cups. I'm getting the Ten of Pentacles with this because these all reduce to ten, which is one. They feel very attracted to you they also want you know to to um you know to have this fresh start to extend some sort of olive garden i feel this person also gets very hot and bothered when they think of you this is somebody that could self-pleasure this is somebody that could you know i'm talking about like if they have pictures of you they could be looking at them things a little you know a little little funny <laughs> you know at certain hours of the night <laughs> you know talk about but they see you as a divine feminine you know they see you as someone that is very Beautiful, very attractive, very powerful even. It's like you took your power and not only did you take it, but you stand in your power. You know, this is beautiful energy. 
and we have um, Mache, uh, Michelle A, something in my heart. So this person is definitely, you know, that's what we're about to pull a card for what's hidden. So there's something in their heart with this 11. This is that twin flame. I was speaking on, a, um, you know, twin flame energy, and this is one half of 11, 11. And so, you know, maybe someone had to disconnect from a codependent situation. Maybe someone was in a marriage. Someone was, you know, wrapped up, coupled up in a partnership, lived with someone. There was something that someone had to break free from. And so with this individuality, I feel like someone is now making a decision, choosing, you know, a course of action, choosing to leave a situation behind. Maybe there was this feeling of feeling like they were stuck at a fork in the road, having to choose between two things or two people or two locations or two circumstances. Maybe this is you having choices and options or maybe this is something you've had to obtain was your sense of independence because you could have been in a codependent partnership or relationship. Whatever the case may be with this individuality, there were some lessons learned in regards to independence and what it means to be able to stand erect, to stand perpendicular in your square, to be able to take care of yourself. That's part of what I was building on earlier as well. Your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your success. So it's imperative to tap in and figure out what are your gifts, to figure out how you can you know, rise to the occasion opposed to look into other people to bail you out or look into other people to help you out. Sometimes. You don't have no, no, you know what I'm saying? You are, you're not going to have any, um, you know, no um, alliances out here. Like you're literally going to be out here on your own. So you got to figure out how to, how to um, be self-sufficient. And I feel like that's a lesson that someone has learned. This is what someone may be learning right now because this is what's hidden. But the individuality card with the two um, ones, that's another double number. And as I've mentioned, whenever I see double numbers, I always feel you and that person are mirroring one another. So this is giving me that energy of renewal because when you get to one, that's a new start. So perhaps there's this feeling of rejuvenation within the self because there's been some healing going on. And when you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself. And when you love thyself, you know thyself. When you know thyself, you know what you deserve. You know what you desire. You can take action accordingly. And you can be assertive. And spirit is giving you the green light, giving you the permission to do so because you've done the work. This is going, getting back to one. This is starting back with the self. You can't, you can't jump into anything unless you work on the self, as I said. And that one is also associated with the root chakra. So you can't take the elevator up. You can't have any type of personal growth, spiritual growth. You can't do any of that unless you get to the root cause. And that root is in reference to the root chakra, the base chakra. So we saw the seven open up the reading, which means there was ascension. There was an elevation of self, an elevation of mind, spirit. But now this is showing how you got there. You had to detach from a codependent connection, toxic connection, karmic connection, perhaps. Because we get to, you know, before we get to 11, we have a 10. So the tens are endings. So that ending is denoting now this new beginning. The new beginning was when you started healing yourself. The ace of cups. You know, going through that purification process, doing spiritual baths, connecting with your angels and ancestors, asking for guidance, asking for protection. You know, that arm of protection, fiery, impenetrable walls of protection, clean, clearing and cleansing your energetic fields, smudging your homes. This is that real work that I was discussing. And your person is mirroring you in that regard because they, too, have been doing it. This is what's hidden. And this is what's leading. You know, so we got D'Angelo saying, send it on. So with send it on, I feel like this person is absolutely going to be sending you a message. This person is going to be, you know, um, connecting with you telepathically. As I said, that 11, you know, that two breaks down to, uh, I mean, that 11 breaks down to two, which is like the high priestess um, energy. So this could be someone like hidden behind the scenes, really trying to make, you know, um, a decision on you know or trying to perhaps even strategize uh, some sort of course of action but I do feel like they are going to choose you know moving in your direction coming to you in your direction so let's tap in so what is hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios may have a message of peace power and protection so we got your message there and we have 48 financial discipline so someone's working on their cash they're trying to get their money right because if they are leaving a partnership a marriage if they are leaving someone's home 
breaking a lease or moving out of a circumstance that could be why that individuality card was there as well because maybe this is what this person is working on trying to detach from a codependent relationship or leaving um, someone from their past to build their own nestle you know so they have to leave a situation in order to build that independence so that they can have something to offer you so perhaps this is what's working on behind the scenes and it's going to require patience but i also feel like maybe this is someone some of you all may have met in your place of, of empo employment maybe you met them at an old job maybe you met them at an old gym that you used to frequent maybe you met them at a grocery store maybe this is someone that you may have lived in the same housing development or live in the same community um, but this is someone that definitely uh, wants to build some sort of partnership this is someone that's really coming in intentionally um, to build an alliance because with that 48 that reduces to um, 12 which is three and so I just strongly feel like this person is um, looking at this situation as something that they can build they can invest in they can they see the value of this connection and I feel like you know they're really uh, working very hard um, to get their coins together so that they can have something uh, tangible to offer and tangible in a sense of like you know perhaps a home to move you into like this could be someone trying to buy a home um, so that they can you know start a relationship a marriage like they're thinking of their future they're thinking of their legacy you know maybe this person is aware that perhaps you you know you, you in in, in um, in courting you they have to also consider the fact that maybe you have children maybe you have three children and they're like looking for homes and saving up so that they can purchase a home that can house you and your children like this is someone coming in very intentional really intentional and really prepared to do the work this is dope i love this this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful and with that pink and that green this this it's like you can see the love you know they're, they're doing this out of love they're doing this out of, um, you know, out of, um, you know, care. You know, this is someone that's very loving, very caring, very thoughtful. You know, this is a very devoted type of energy because, as I said, they're coming in with the intention to build a partnership, build an alliance. And with that one and that, that, um, that, um, give me one moment. My son is screaming at the top of his lungs and I already... Gave him the warning shot. Hold on one moment. My apologies, beloveds. So, so yeah, this is definitely that energy. This person is coming in intentionally, you know, heart opened. Because we got pink and green on this card. So I feel like this is someone whose heart chakra is open. They're coming in very intentionally, very devoted, you know, and very opened. Open. This is someone very open. And we got Shaka Khan, Angel. So I feel like you have angels conspiring behind the scene to bring this union into fruition, just as I've said. I feel like whatever you've been working on, you know, internally, it has just, you know, you've healed, you, you've elevated, you've ascended, you know, in the eyes of, you know, your angels and your guides. And so it's almost like they're saying this is the divine timing for you. This is divine timing for love. In the past, you weren't ready for it because there was work you had to do. Now that you've done the work, now you're open to it. Now you are you know you're ready you're ready for it and i feel that could be why that that window of opportunity was showing up we have 44 um environment on the bottom of the deck so i strongly feel like this could be a wish fulfillment this is absolutely someone that loves you this is another double number and those are both associated with the heart chakra but that's also number four which is associated with a divine masculine so even if you're a divine masculine watching, you have a divine feminine that could be coming in. And they're going to mirror you, match your fly, your vibration. There's been a whole lot of healing going on around here. Not only within your circumstance, but with whomever you're attracting to you. That's why I felt like there was some sacred connection. There's some likeness because you've experienced similar circumstances. You've gone through similar things in life. You've learned similar, you know, tough lessons. And so that's why I feel like those conversations are going to be very deep because there's just going to be so many me too's in that conversation. I'm like, oh my God, you too? You went through there too? You know, like it's just so many things that just connect you the dots just connect but this is beautiful because i feel like spirit is saying that there's um this wish fulfillment and this wish fulfillment is someone that loves you and that you love them because your heart chakra is open you're ready for love you're receptive for love 
And I feel like with, you know, Amory talking to me, I feel like that's how this person is communicating with you telepathically. I feel like there was some karmic lessons that not only did you have to learn, but they also have learned. Perhaps you taught them a karmic lesson or they you. Whoever this person is, I do feel like now there's this sense of there was a great healing that took place. And in healing thyself, they realize just how, you know, um, emotionally stunted they may have been. And so in being emotionally stunted, that means you're unavailable, you know. And so this is something that this person could have, you know, reflected back upon when they were perhaps in connection with you or when they were just in any type of relationship, just the disconnect that they may have felt they were devoid of emotion. And so now this is what they've learned. This was the lesson they've had to learn. But with this 44 breaking down to eight, you know, that eight is associated to me with the star. So I always feel like that's like a wish fulfillment or someone coming in. But the eight in traditional tarot is the strength card. So someone could be mustering up the strength to return to express something that they feel, you know. But this is what's on the bottom of the deck. Let's pull a card for the outcome. Ooh, okay. Thank you, spirit. And so we have 91 surrender. And so all I'm hearing is, all you gotta do is say yes. Don't deny what you feel. Let me undress you, babe. Open up your mind and just rest. I'm about to let you know you make me so, so 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 that's what i'm hearing i got the words right that time so this person definitely this change coming there is a change a brewing beloved you have something very beautiful that is coming in that's entering into your stratosphere beloved and you're going to be very very satisfied and i feel like spirit is telling you surrender you know, be open to this because some of you all could be coming off very guarded, very blocked off. And if you block yourself off, that's your fault. That's why I feel like spirit was like corrected me when I said a golden opportunity. And they corrected me and said a window of opportunity because I feel like this window is a short window. So, you know, it's not even a door <laughs> of opportunity. It's a window. So it's like you, you got to get in where you fit in, beloveds, you know, because there's this perhaps some communication coming. You know, and you're going to have to make some sort of or, you know, make a decision in terms of what you're going to do, you know. And I feel like with that seven opening up the reading, I feel like spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. Remember, we also had my ties saying females intuition. So trust your intuition when it comes to this. I feel some of you all already feel this change coming in the air. Like I, like I said, I'm just preaching to the choir. Like what I'm saying is just like. It's just confirming. It's just the period at the end of the sentence. Or you. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. Let's clarify. Let's clarify these messages. We're going to use moonology because we are under the beautiful energy of a full moon tonight. Could be tomorrow, wherever your locality may be, beloveds. So with talking to me, trust your intuition. With talking to me, this person communicates with you intuitively and telepathically. With talking to me, I feel like someone has been listening to an elder, someone that's a maternal or paternal figure, maybe a pastor, preacher, master teacher, maybe a Reiki healer, shaman, light worker. They're speaking to someone. They're talking to someone and they're giving them some downloads. They're giving some cloth talk. You're <laughs> there are some cloth talk out sham. <laughs> Let me stop being silly, but this is beautiful, you know, because it's like this is, you know, this person is sitting, you know, at the feet of the right type of energy. You know, they're not going to their homeboys, you know, the deduct the dunk crew, you know, they're not going to the little bird brain, you know, chicks like they going straight to an elder, someone that has some experience behind them. And no diss, I, I just like to be silly, you know, what I'm talking about. But so with the seven and this three, that one, that one. And that um, four, that's five, that five, and that five is ten. So there's a new beginning, there's a new start. Every end in the note's a new beginning. Someone's going through a change. So someone's going to change their course of direction. I feel a conversation is going to change things, and it's going to bring about a new start. Like, it's going to bring about um, a fresh start is what I heard. Like, it's, 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 it's literally like someone pushing a reset button or, you know, really like saying, okay, so let's, you know, maybe there's just like a decision to like, okay, let's put the past behind us because this 10 is just telling me like there is an ending, 
you know, but this is also saying like this could still be that same energy that I was picking up where you're going to have like the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups type of vibration, which ultimately reduces to the Ace, which is like a new financial situation breaks through for you. You know, whether it be in pertinence to business, you know, something that you've been working very hard, very meticulous, very tediously on, and you're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. You're going to start seeing things, you know, your, your hard work produce fruit, as I said, because this three and this five reduces to eight. And that eight is like giving me the eight of pentacles where, you know, you've been like kind of like eye of the tiger. You know, some of you all could be, you know, Chinese zodiac tiger. You could be a tigress. Um, you know, but this is that energy of like, you know, eyes on the prize, working very hard. You got several different things going on and you're moving and shaking, beloveds. You're moving and shaking. And this is what's, you know, creating the change is your efforts, is your intention, is the action, you know, is the discipline that you are, um, that you are operating and functioning from. So that's beautiful. On the bottom of the Moonology deck, we have, you're very close to achieving your goal, Oh, I love to see that. Look at that. That's confirmation of what I just said. So it's like you moving and shaking out here and, and whatever your goals are, it's like you're you're absolutely with that permission song again, you know, just popping up in my mind's eye. And this this is like spirit is giving you the green light is giving you that, you know, that OK, that yes answer. And we have Chico DeVarge, virgin, you know. So this could be like something that you're, you know, whatever you're pursuing, whatever you're doing, this could be something new for you, you know, like, you know, with, with Virgin, I feel like this could be something very new. I also feel like some of you all may be um, needing to like, when you do a spiritual bath and clean, clear and cleanse your energy, definitely incorporate like, um, you know, Virgin olive oil into your baths. Um, and I'm hearing hyssop, sea salt. Um, you know, definitely to, to like, you know, just refresh, rejuvenate your energy, um, to break any type of spell work, to just cleanse your, your auric field. Um, but I, I'm hearing, uh, olive oil, uh, that's very purifying and it's a protective oil as well. Um, so spirit is saying that as well. So this is beautiful on the split. What do we have? And we have your dreams need a practical uh, plan. So that could be why, you know, spirit is saying, you know, um, you're close to achieving your goal. But some of you all may need to, you know, go back to the drawing board just to, you know, fine tune some things, you know, just to, you know, kind of like, um, you know, to, um, you know, to to just like, you know, kind of like re rewrite some of your your business plans or your your business um, portfolio there may be some things that you might need to be able to rewrite or maybe there's some sort of um, there's just some some fine-tuning you might need to do and spirit is saying you're still close to achieving your goal but in order to have full success or in order to have something um, you know really work out in your favor there are just some adjustments that are necessary Ashe, maybe these are changes you've already made so beloved Let's tap in spirit. Let's get a message from my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection. We have Damian Molly right now, and this is called There For You. And so, you know, with There For You, I feel like while you was going through certain transformations, while you were going through, you know, these startling metamorphosis, you know, while you was like literally in the thick of it, you know, in the trenches, beloved. Um, your angels, your guides were there for you. They were there giving you the divine nudges and downloads and sending you the little synchronized messages and animal totems and giving you those little sensations and, you know, making your ear buzz and ring and your nose twitch and itch and your hands itch and twitch, you know, like you were feeling all these sensations because angels and ancestors, your spirit team, your guides, they were there for you. They were the ones carrying you through it. So that's beautiful. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Someone could be dealing with someone named Damien. Damien Marley is Bob Marley's grandson. Um, pardon me, Bob Marley's son. Um, so some of you all could be, you know, from Jamaica, or maybe, you know, some of you like to Chief Chief, that Chiba Chiba. Um, maybe Bob Marley is, you know, your favorite artist. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I was hearing Bob Marley singing uh, Natural Mystic in the Air. When I was telling you about a change that was a coming and a brewing, you know, and um, that made me think of that 
natural mystic song you know so some of you all could definitely be maybe perhaps listening to that but uh spirit is there for you you know spirit is there but i also feel y'all just are naturally picking up on the fact that something is changing so these two cards you see how these kind of like are separated i'm going to take these as bonus messages and we're going to complete you know this um you know cut, cutting the deck i do it three times for those of you that may be new I like to cut three times bottom of the deck we have you are good enough so self-love that was the best love that's what you learned self-love is an inside job you also learned you know to um, stand up for what you believed in and to prioritize you at the end of the day this was the tough lesson the tough lesson for you most of you Scorpios is you got to put yourself first when you are a Scorpio and you love people you always tend to put others before yourself you always are willing to fight you know, you, you go hard body for everybody, um, but sometimes you don't show yourselves that same love, that same grace. And so that could have been, you know, um, the lesson for you all. That's what led to, you know, your own transformation was, you know, being treated less than by people you were um, going above and beyond for. People that you have, um, you know, sacrificed your time, your energy, um, you know, even perhaps your, your, your money, you know. Um, on they they just when you needed them you weren't there the only people that were there for you was spirit you know that's the lesson you had to learn no one was there for you no one was gonna you know get you through you know those those uh, dark periods um, except for you you know and I feel like it was designed that way it was meant for you to go through it and go it alone so that you could realize just how strong you were um, because a lot of times when you are in codependent relationships like that individual individuality card was um displaying it's like you know sometimes people become crutches sometimes other people's income become a crutch because you could become heavily reliant upon them and to the point where you are um dependent and you don't feel like you can you grow you can't grow your own legs and so perhaps that was an experience or a circumstance which led to you doing just that so we have two bonus messages remember we have show the world the real you so this is what you are emerging as your authentic self you're no longer hiding behind the guise of that person that didn't know their worth and their value, who had to over, you know, compensate or who wasn't putting themselves first or loving themselves or showing themselves that grace or giving themselves that self-love. Um, that's no longer you. You had to start pouring into your own cup. And the more you poured into your own cup, the more you realized just how dope you were, the more others realized how beautiful, how attractive you are because you started to show yourself love self-love makes you more attractive when people see they can steamroll your ass that is not an attractive attribute in fact that makes you less attractive because people want to see strength they want to see confidence in others that's what's admirable but when you just somebody's damn doormat you know they just come in to hop in just like everybody else to take to be energy vampires and so maybe that was perhaps a part of some you know uh, mindset that you had to break free from um, what we have also is confidence is your key to success you see that so this confidence that you're now standing in and owning and remember I mentioned the strength card you know and you taking your power back uh, look at that lion that beautiful lion that lioness this is when you are braving your light this is when you are you know in your power now um, you're, you're no longer allowing anything outside of you uh, to to um, you know to to make you feel less than you know this is that energy and that air of assertiveness that I was picking up even with the chariot you know that confidence that you now exude and with that confidence there now comes this this energy that that is uh, more prosperous uh, so that's beautiful and so we have a family stand ghetto heaven and so with that family stand you could go go ahead bud do what you got to do. Um, with that family stand, I feel like someone is really uh, finally taking a stand, perhaps even with their own family. Uh, we have a personal issue reach, uh, reaches resolution. And remember, I was picking up on the person you're attracting, perhaps, you know, maybe they're completing a cycle, wrapping up a cycle, leaving someone, moving out of a home. Maybe this is your energy, um, but there has to be some sort of separation, moving away or walking away from someone. Um, 
you know, just moving away and moving out of the home for independence, to be independent, to be single, to be alone, um, you know, rediscovering what that feels like, because I feel like someone could have been trapped in a situation. And this is your person, the person that you are destined to be with. Um, I feel like this is a very sacred union, sacred connection, that twin flame energy I was picking up. This is like that wish fulfillment that you may, you know, have been praying for, calling for, uh, calling in, um, sending up petitions for. But I see here with this crab, uh, perhaps this person is a cancer. They have cancer in their chart, but we have this personal issue reaches resolution. So I feel like whatever this person is going through experiencing, it's about to close out. I feel like something's ending. Uh, you know, the cycle is closing. The lessons have been learned. And the more um, this person closes their cycle, the closer they are to, you know, coming towards you, coming back to you or coming in for you. So this is very powerful. So whoever you're dealing with could be another water sign. It could be also a Leo you could be dealing with, perhaps an Aquarius, someone with air in their chart. Or even a Virgo, someone with Earth in their chart. So pretty much anybody right now, <laughs> you know who they are. And then we got this family stand playing yet again, you know. And with heaven, I just feel like spirit yet again is just confirming like they're conspiring behind the scenes. See how these two cards flipped out? Those are your messages. And so we have a new start is coming. I can't make this up. This person is coming in for a new start with you, a fresh start with you. This person has realized and discovered, you know, that they feel this union, this connection, that you are the wish fulfillment. They see you as single. They see you as ready to mingle. They see you as their divine feminine, the yin to their yang. I feel like whatever they were um, confused of in the past, that time has passed. It's like they've had some sort of grand epiphany. And even this time alone, the separation or in hermit mode has allotted them the opportunity to really assess and reflect and introspect on their own feelings, you know, because that 44 environment, it showed not only were you healing or healed um, and knowing thyself, but it feels, it also shows that whoever you're attracting also is fully aware of who they are and have also done the necessary um, work to heal themselves. And that's why they are now uh, coming in for this new start. I feel this distance also with the train going by. So this person definitely is going to come rushing in, rushing towards you. Remember, we saw that seven of um, that seven. The time was seven. I think it was eight thirty-five or eight fifty-three on the clock uh, when we first started the reading. I keep saying eight, but five thirty-eight or five eighty. I don't know what it was, but it was it reduced to seven, and so that seven was giving me chariot, chariot, chariot. And um, even with the horse, the black and the white, I was picking up yin yang. And then we see clearly this person is a spiritual partner and this person is coming in because they want a fresh start. They're coming in assertively, they're coming in confidently because they've already assessed on their work, their due diligence to you know ensure um, you know that they're coming in balanced because they see you as an empress. So you know your worth and value. So they're not coming in to take, uh, to waste your time. They're coming in to, to add, to build, like I said. They want to build and not destroy. So that's powerful. So we got a new romantic cycle begins. I cannot make this up, beloveds. This is what's on the bottom of the deck and this the scale. And I, the bottom of the deck and the scales are showing that this is justified. This is just. This is your just due. You've earned this. This is meant for you. Everything is working out in your favor. I feel like Mama, I'm, Mama Ma'at has your address and every petition you've sent up, every manifestation that you have worked, every intention, every visualization, it is all materializing. I feel someone is definitely coming in to court you. I feel like they're coming in to balance things out. You know, this is someone that definitely sees your worth, sees your value, sees you as beautiful, sees you as attractive. They see how much joy, peace, happiness you bring into their life. They have some sort of grand epiphany and they're absolutely seeing you in, you know, in, in um, a completely different perspective. Like they're, they're looking at you with a fresh pair of eyes almost. It's like their eyes have widened or they, their eyes are now opened, you know, to who you are. And you may be dealing with someone that could be a Libra as well. So let's tap in, beloveds. Why is 93 happy ending here for how this person Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them? They have a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. So we got another message here, this message. And so we have conclusions are within reach. So there's about to be 
Mm-hmm. But I feel someone taking action. I feel like right now they're being very meticulous to strategize the right plan because they see you as an empress. They see you as a divine feminine. They see you as an emperor, as a divine masculine. So you know your worth and value and you're not going to put up with any nonsense. So this person is preparing themselves to come in the right way, to approach you the right way. We also have the answers you need are coming. So this is further uh, confirmation that there's communication coming. Remember, I was picking up on someone communicating and this conversation is going to bring clarity so I feel like it says with com uh, conclusions are within reach and the answers you need are coming. I feel like there is uh, definitely um, some new relationship, some new partnership that you are going to em be embarking on with someone. Um, we have a win-win uh, outcome is forever. So uh, I, I said forever. Forecast is forecast. So this is a win-win situation. That's why you have happy ending and then you also have nothing will come of the situation here. So if you all are dealing with someone who's, you know, maybe they are in their head a little bit, you know, because I do get a sense of like with this person, you know, they was feeling a little hesitancy with you. Uh, maybe this is their own inner voice saying nothing will come of the situation. Um, you know, and it says void, of course. So this is someone that could be really, um, you know, thinking negatively about the situation. But what spirit is showing is that the answers you need are coming. Conclusions are within reach and a win win outcome is forecast. So this is a win win and this is a happy ending. They see you as someone that is, you know, could lead to some, the, this, the happily ever after, you know, that happy house, happy spouse. But also they're conflicted. Remember, they were coming out, you know, in that energy of, you know, mental conflict because I was seeing the nine of swords. Um, where, you know, they could have been up in their head. They could have been like waking up, analysis, paralysis, ruminating and pining over the situation because of something they may have done in the past because they're having to, you know, justify some things, you know, with the answers you need are coming. It's like they're second guessing themselves, um, you know, with this, with, with, you know, starting this conversation or coming in because they see you as, you know, this, this regal royal uh, empress or emperor. Um, and so they could be telling themselves nothing's going to come of this situation with that Gemini energy. Um, that literally is like, um, you know, this, that, 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 that Gemini energy is like, you know, they say they have different personalities. So I feel like that's just, just, you know, really emphasizing the mental conflict that I'm feeling someone is experiencing. So they're confusing, um, themselves, you know, perhaps, uh, and, and speaking in that lack of mentality um, because they're unsure of, you know, how you're going to respond because they may see you as someone um, who is very guarded, which is why this 91 um, surrender card is there. So, and remember, Spirit was saying, because uh, I was hearing say yes, um, with Renee and Angela singing, you don't have to cry. This is what's hidden in the energy. So someone could be secretly uh, crying because they may feel like they're working very hard and they're not seeing the results that they want. Um, perhaps they're feeling like, you know, they, uh, you know, just having to start over because remember we saw that individuality card. And so it's like someone is now independent, so they cannot rely on another person to pay the bills. All of the bills are their responsibility. So maybe they're crying privately because they're not sure of how they're going to sustain or how they're going to maintain. And spirit is saying, you don't have to cry. Everything is going to work out in your favor. Just continue to do what you can do and continue to do your best at what you can do and continue to, to apply yourself and you will see that spirit is going to open up opportunities for you with don't let pride get in your way some of you all may need to ask for help if you feel that you're struggling if you feel that you're you know kind of drowning in bills don't feel um like you can't ask for help um, even if that's asking for a loan, even if that's taking a loan out on your own 401k to to sustain yourself, do what you have to do. But the means and the, you know, um, the means are there like there's there's access. There's some monetary um, method, you know, not method. There's some monetary assets available for you. Um, and, you know, perhaps you just got to work around why you're not willing to partake but if it's something that's really um, detrimental, uh, spirit is saying like, do what you do what you have to do. Um, 
to stay afloat, you know, like, so for instance, if you do have, um, you know, a career in which you get a 401k, perhaps taking out a loan on that to, you know, just get your bills um, under, you know, to get your bills in line um, could be a suggestion or perhaps, uh, you know, there's a tax return that will allow you to be able to do that. But I feel spirit is saying you don't have to cry because, you know, worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So that's why it's not good to get trapped in that mindset of worry and fear and lack you know, even if something appears like, damn, how am I going to do this? The answers always come when you stand perpendicular in your square and say, oh, thank you, spirit. Thank you for helping me pay that bill. Not stressing it is the answer. The moment you see something and you allow it to stress you and you allow yourself to have a physical reaction to it, that is what you're sending out into the ethers. And that is what spirit is going to send on back to you. More reasons to worry. They're going to send a no. You're not going to get the money. You're going to be stressing. And it's a perpetual cycle. So the trick when you see something come in is not to immediately be like, oh, my God, how am I going to pay this? I don't have this money. That's not the right attitude. What you do is you take that paper that says whatever you owe and you sit down and you set intention and you say this bill is paid. Thank you, spirit, for paying this bill. Everything I need is taken care of. That's how you speak. That's, you don't speak in a spirit of lack. If you are God and made in his image, if you are master manifestors, if you are the sole controller of your destiny, you don't speak like that. That's what peasants do. You don't know who you are if you talk in that type of talk. Like That's not the type of way you, know, you, you are to um, communicate you know, or to uh, demand what you want. You know what I'm talking about? So remember, words are spells and spells bind. You will bind yourself to that spirit of lack in a perpetual way if that's how you address situations that appear or come up. So don't let pride get in your way. If you need help, ask for it. Even if you feel like somebody's going to say no, ask anyway. Because that's you putting that intention out there like... Watch me ask, and they're going to say, I, I don't have it. That's You did that. If you That's how you approach a situation where you already answering the question for you, that you're doing that. So just say, oh, yeah, they're going to look out. This is going to get taken care of. The stress response, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, that that's how you set intention. The emotion behind the, the visualization, behind the words, that's, that's really what sets intention. And so when you know that, you have to use that emotion and that intention in a positive way and not to, you know, to bring some misfortune to yourself. But I digress. So let's tap in. Let's see why is financial discipline here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios. And we have, um, who is this playing? We have Lauren. I get out. So, you know, somebody could get you out of a tough situation, out of a tight squeeze, if you just open up your mind, uh, you know, open up your mouth and just ask. And we have bring love into the situation on the bottom of the deck. And that will be for the energy of what's out the outcome. So we have the energy is gaining momentum. So whatever you're working on, spirit is saying basically, you know, the seed that you've sown, as long as you keep on watering it and nurturing it and cultivating it and tending to it, there is going to be a return on that investment. There's absolutely going to be success. There's already, you know, this this notion that, you know, whatever you've been doing, it's already picking up. You may not see it, you know, but your eyes are deceiving you. You have to trust. You have to walk in faith and trust that spirit has already already received, you know, that that petition. And it's already gaining momentum. So the success that you've been asking for, the partnerships, the business partnerships, the spiritual partnerships, the love ships, the friendships, or whatever connections that you've been asking for, it's like Spirit is saying that that energy you have put into it, that intention, it's building momentum. So make sure you're feeding and nurturing it in a positive way, speaking positively on that circumstance, putting good, positive energy you know, an intention into that of what you are manifesting because you are powerful whether you realize it or not. You know, you are the divine feminine and masculine and it's your divinity to create, to produce, to manifest, you know, to birth, 
you know, whether that's new ideas, new ways of thinking, new techniques, new styles, you know what I'm saying? So this is, that's, that's the way you, um, that's how you are made. So always stand in that power with bring love into the situation with this change. That's the change that you are embarking upon because you love that self. You already, you know, your cup is running over because of the love you show that self. As I said, self-love is an inside job. So someone is fully attracted to you in all of your radiance, in all of your glory, because you are loving yourself, you're healing yourself, you're maturing, you're growing, you're creating. This five is showing how you have really been instrumental, even in your spiritual knowledge, in your spiritual growth, just really, you know, applying, you know, whatever knowledge that you've obtained uh, in your circumstances and situations and you're seeing results. I also feel someone sees the change in you and this is what's opening up, you know, this 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 uh, sense of, of um, clarity about the circumstance. With I get out, I feel like that's also what's motivating someone and inspiring someone to get out of a toxic, vile, you know, uh, very competitive, you know, chaotic, traumatic, traum you know, dramatic circumstance you know because I just get a sense of like just a lot of um, you know a lot of confusion you know um, I'm hearing blind leading the blind maybe getting bad advice from people you know maybe having a bunch of people around them that weren't really doing anything um, and and just you know really kind of feeding and sucking the life force out of them until they made some sort of necessary change or just a change of direction a change of perspective but I feel communication is also uh, going to come in and it's going to change perhaps your course of direction. But with bring love into the situation, that is just another you know confirmation that spirit wants you to surrender and not so much be controlling of the narrative or controlling of your feelings, um, you know, but to be more open, to be more receptive. Uh, Shay, so let's tap it. So what is the uh, outcome? Why is this five change here as the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. A new romantic cycle. This is what you have to look forward to. That's the change, just as I've indicated. And we have a time for healing and look at the bigger picture. So I feel like that's what someone is doing. And with that healing, that's literally opening up someone to see the bigger picture. Because if you're still, you know, all, um, if you're still traumatized and you're still you know, agonizing from, you know, past circumstances, you're not going to be able to see anything other than that of what you're feeling in that moment, which is pain, which is, you know, trapped, entrapment, confusion. So, you know, when you heal thyself, um, it opens you up to those feelings and emotions of love. It opens you up to being more emotionally intelligent. Um, and you're allowed and allotted the opportunity to now see the bigger picture, to see things from a different perspective or vantage point. And I feel that's the change someone's making. Um, as they heal and do their work, uh, they're now able to see things on a grander scale. As I said, with that 12, I felt like that's the hangman, someone seeing you um, from a completely different vantage point now. And that is what's sparking uh, some sort of uh, new romantic cycle for you beautiful Scorpios. So this is beautiful. So um, let's tap in, beloved. We're going to get some messages from the uh, Dark Grimoire. See if you have anything that is, uh, you know, looming in the background. What time it is? All right, it's 1.32. And so we have Dennis Edwards featuring Saidia Garrett. And this is called Don't Look Any Further. So absolutely someone knows there's nothing better than you. They can't, they don't need to look any further because... They done found their divine feminine. They done found their divine masculine. They done found the one, beloved. They found the one. This is definitely um, someone that feels like, you know, um, whatever decision they're making to leave, you know, whatever circumstance they're leaving, is like they know they don't need to look any further than you because they absolutely feel like this is a, a very sacred connection. Very, very sacred. So we have the nine of chalices on the bottom of the dark grimoire. So this is how this person sees you, just as I said. Very, very, um, very protective of your 
energy like you're focused on loving you yourself and you you see how you're looking very intensely at that cup it's as if you've you know it's like I, I get a sense of like you you've been more mindful um, to love yourself you know to make sure that you're pouring into yourself to make sure that your cup runneth over for you that you are healed that you're not holding in you know holding on to or harboring any you know any toxicity from your past I feel this person is also uh, realizing you know their feelings of love um, and seeing you as someone who's going to be perhaps um, a tough nut to crack uh, when they try to come in and express feelings of love it's like this person watches you from a distance um, but they see how you know how guarded like you're guarding that that chalice with everything you've got like you're not going to be you're not easily going to give your chalice to every to anyone and so they see that you know but this person has something they desire to say and with the waterfall coming out of the mouth i feel like this is just going to be someone expressing or confessing their love for you you know and with don't look any further i feel like this person has had some sort of grand epiphany and upset um and assessing the situation um, and assessing you from a distance as you know as someone who's admiring you from afar um, that they don't need to look any further because what they've been looking for is always been within you you've always been that person so we have on the split the uh, nine of Pentacles and the nine of chalices what did I say this is that energy of single you know they see you as single they see you as working very hard this is like you you've built like your own castle you know, you're very stable, very self-sufficient, you're very resourceful, very practical, you've worked very hard. They see you as someone that has, um, you know, even domestic qualities that are admirable, that are attractive, like you keep a beautiful home, you know, maybe your home is your sanctuary, you know, maybe someone sees you as someone who's just um, very skilled, gifted, you know, very talented, you know, you got your ish together, you, you know, you wear many hats. They see you as really being being very um, very mindful of you know creating your own um, nestle. You know, they see you as like really building your own um, empire. You know, and and this is someone that wants to and desires to um, you know to to build with you to 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 assist you with that. You know, to come in and, and partner up with you, to collaborate, you know, to build that nucleus. That's beautiful. You know, that's the right energy. So we have bloom. So I do feel like this connection is going to bloom. I feel like there's going to be a lot of intention, like both of you are going to work at it. I see the king of wands here. So there's a lot of passion. This person is very passionate about you. This is a confident person. This is someone who's really, uh, they go after what they want. So I feel like, you know, with the assistance of that chariot energy that someone is, you know, feeling more confident um, and they will be more um, willing to assert themselves, especially if they're coming towards the empress or the emperor. So in the past, there could have been some backstabbing or some front stabbing because you can see the depiction here. But someone realized they was dealing with a false person. Uh, someone, you know, finally saw someone as uh, wearing a mask or someone fake. Someone could have really tried to um, to take someone out. And this is what someone was dealing with. That two of pentacles is showing like someone discovered that whoever they were with, whatever relationship or connection they were in, um, this is definitely an enemy, a frenemy. This is not someone that you could trust. This is not someone that has your best interest at heart. Someone finally saw someone for who they were and they were juggling you with this person. Or maybe this is someone that definitely was stuck at a fork in the road um, where that timing um, was wrong because this is what they was dealing with. And you could have turned your back. You could have moved on. You could have moved away um, and started to focus more so on yourself. Uh, and this is what this person had to deal with. That could have been their karma um, in making the wrong decision. That could also be the reason why that transformation card is there because this transformed their life, this experience. Um, we have the two of wands and the two of um, swords. So with that, I mean the two of pentacles, pardon me. So with that energy, I do feel like there was this sense of like, you know, someone really uh, trying to choose wisely um, their direction. Um, 
someone feeling really indecisive in a situation and perhaps they sought uh, advice from someone that could have given them um, perhaps you know the wrong advice there goes the hangman I mentioned the hangman and there he goes so this person definitely this is like self imposed like they're realizing that the decisions they made you know and and whoever they were seeking for advice because remember I was picking up like the dun -da -dun, um, you know Tweedledee Tweedledum type of energy it's like they st finally saw something for what it clearly uh, for what it truly was you know and they're realizing they made mistakes um, with the six of swords that's why you moved away now they realize why you may have created distance now they realize why they feel this distance or they feel this guardedness from you so let's tap in beloveds let's tap in let's tap in so divine spirit love and light you get a message of peace power and protection spirit and i do feel they're watching you because i see this uh what is this the ace of pentacles the ace of chalices so this person is watching you because they do feel you're you know you're that um that love you know that you're the love that got away you're the one you know that they definitely um feel like they've missed an opportunity so they do spy you know they do watch you because i was picking up before i even saw this i was feeling like somebody is like a secret admirer someone is tuning in watching you from a distance they definitely are attracted to you uh, with that ace of cups i do feel they feel a whole lot of love this is someone very attracted someone very much um that adores you i feel adore adoration you know, uh, with that yellow card, it's, that's just, you know, an energy of like vibrancy and radiance. That's how they feel you, um, feel about you. And that's also how they see you as someone just, you know, very, very radiant, you know, this beautiful energy that they feel about you. That's beautiful. So let's tap in, tune in, beloveds. Let's see what's hidden behind the scenes with this dark grimoire. Thank you, spirit. Now, oh, shade. So the bottom of the deck. We have the seven of pentacles. So just as I've said, look at that, you know, little dark energy behind someone. So it's like, you know, maybe someone was definitely like um, with this rebirth. It was like you was putting so much work, so much time, so much energy into something. But the more you fed a monster, the, the bigger it grew. And I feel like this could be even a part of like your own illusion. Um, because the way the head looks all shaded out on this person is just like there's just, you know, some sort of illusion, ill use of your ions. And I feel like the more um, the more you were with someone, um, the more you lost yourself. Uh, because with you are good enough, perhaps this person really had you feeling, you know, really low self-esteem about yourself or insecure about yourself. Maybe they would make comments about you that would have you like second guessing um, your own flyness. And I feel like, you know, when you got rid of this person that was constantly like, you know, regurgitating all these negative things to you i feel like that's when you started to realize like you know that's not what love is love isn't somebody that's supposed to be my partner telling me um how terrible i am or what i can't do or you know how incompetent i am i feel like that's what that shadow represents behind you is just having someone um that was really you know um that was really impressionable to some degree on how you felt about yourself and so when you started to, uh, you know, purge the things, the people, the mindsets, the attitudes, the behaviors, when you started to purge those things and you realized just how, um, you know, how much you weren't being your authentic self or how much you were holding back, um, you know, from from expressing your truth or from displaying, you know, your true self or just being your authentic self, that's when you realize, like, you know, it's time to, you know, unveil, to do the great unveil. And when you did that, you did it with confidence, you know, and I feel like this is just showing why there was a transformation. The death of the old you that may have been very insecure um, enough to allow others to, in, you know, be impressionable or to, to make you feel incompetent in some way. But now there's this sense of like, you have learned something. He's looking directly at a book and I feel like you've been studying, you've been learning and you've transformed. You know, this is like that, that growing pain. So that seven of pentacles is just showing how hard you've been working and how much you may have put into a situation and felt like you got very little back. Um, but spirit is reminding you that, you know, every seed that you've sown, it is definitely going to produce fruit. Uh, because remember, we have, um, what is this? 
this is uh, that bloom song is playing. So we have bloom playing. So whatever seeds you've sown, not only are they blossoming, but they will bloom. You know, they will bloom and they will be attractive. So we see this five of um, chalices here. So we're about to pull the card for the person you're attracting. What did I say about someone having to move? So this five of chalices, the depiction on this card is showing that someone is absolutely bolting their ass away from a group of people that were not authentic and there's going to be some you know there's going to be a lot of slow singing flower bringing no, I mean, <laughs> there's going to be some crying going on there's going to be you know people going to be really upset by this but i feel this person is doing what is best for them finally this is definitely someone putting something behind them that this is more importantly showing um that they're going after what they want you know, this is that tenacity, this is that passion, this is that fire, that desire, uh, that this new start that's giving me like the ace of wands, you know, so they're coming in with this passion um, to, you know, claim what they truly want. And it's because they realize the magnitude of this connection with spiritual partnership. So this person is coming in, rushing in towards you, but leaving someone, leaving others behind because they've discovered that that is not what's serving their highest good. And um, with that bloom, that, that's what ultimately came to light. So let's tap in. So why is this 27 partnership? New start is coming for my beautiful Scorpios and the person they're attracting. I have a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. Didn't I say this person was in a nine of swords energy? They didn't recognize themselves. They're definitely waking up during the witching hours or during, you know, middle of the night in cold sweats. Maybe they saw your face in their dreams and they're just like really, literally like sitting here like, yo, what am I doing? Why am I here in this loveless connection when I need to be with my Scorpio, who's my wish fulfillment, who is who I truly have a lot of passion and love and, and, and a sacred connection with. Uh, but this person is definitely in that nine of swords energy, just as I've said, you know, where they are, you know, having a lot of regret. So these thoughts are constantly running through their mind. They may have felt like they've lost themselves in a connection as well. And so they're looking at themselves like, who the hell are you? How did you get here? What are you doing here? You know, I'm talking about like we have um, William Bell, and this is called I Forgot to Be Your Lover. So this is why this person is having this, you know, this grand epiphany here where they're looking at themselves is because they forgot to do what they always felt, which is to love you. You know, they may have, you know, um, like I said, rejected you, could have been, um, uh, um, um, what is that called? Uh, unrequited circumstance like where you could have been ready willing and able and they was kind of pushing the brakes or you know kind of distancing themselves or acting uninterested and now there's like these regrets now they're singing the shoulda coulda wouldas but they're also having difficulty recognizing themselves and this is because of the confusion this is because of all of the cloudiness that they were you know in if you look in the background you see nothing but clouds so they could have been gaslit by whoever they was dealing with you know, and I feel like there was also a sense of like perhaps, you know, a little uh, dose of karma dharma, like whoever they chose over you, put them through whatever they put you through. It's just like whatever goes around comes around. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So we have the six of wands here. And if you look at this depiction, it's like, you know, this is a salesman. And I feel like this person is not buying what this person is trying to sell because of, you know, some sort of, um, you know, their intuition, something about this doesn't feel real, it doesn't feel uh, like it's a good buy, it doesn't feel like this is someone that they want to even tangle with, because that is the energy of someone that is very sussy. So maybe you're coming um, off very uh, guarded in that respect, because this person is offering this person um, something, but his hands are straight down and he's not accepting. How they feel about you is just like I said before, like you're not going to be very receptive. You see how he's handing him something, but he's like not budging. He's not budging. And so that could be why this person is already in their head, because this is how they feel you're going to receive them. And so with that six, I feel like, you know, perhaps, you know, the, the six, they're going to use their intuition. They're going to use discernment eventually, um, and they will take action. Um, but let's tap in. Let's get the actual message. Divine spirit of peace, love, and light. We have a message of thank you. All right. And I'm going to take those. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have the queen of pentacles. So you are seen as st stable, very grounded, very practical, very maternal, very successful, very abundant. 
you know we got the uh, three of wands so didn't I say this person is literally like strategizing you know you see these people kind of watching from a distance before they kind of bust a dope move and go down and see what's really going on that's how I feel this person is doing but they're watching you so before they come in they're watching you know they're they're literally like learning you you know they're literally kind of learning where your head is at where your mind is at um, and that could be why they're up in their head like nothing's gonna come in this situation you know based off of what they may be seeing so maybe you are in a space where you could be posting a lot on your social media and they be they may be guilty by association because they're spying on you they may think that what you're posting is applicable to them um, because it is because they are stalking you <laughs> you know but maybe in certain instances they are you know they are expecting a certain outcome and it may not be that. So this is like self-imposed as I said because you know with that void of course it's like they're kind of almost trying to sabotage themselves. You know this is like self-sabotage where you're saying oh this is going to happen but you don't really have any proof until you take action. So they're kind of like watching. Um, maybe this is how they see you like in the spotlight you know being very successful especially with that empress energy. You know maybe you have some sort of uh, you know different projects going on maybe you're successful in your career maybe you have a spiritual career that's popping you know maybe you have a social media platform or a presence online and they're watching you and they see that others are watching you and this is just making them even more hesitant or you know they have a little more uh, anxiety in approaching or coming in but we also have um, the devil here so there is a level of, of obsession maybe this person obsessively watches you or maybe they are uh, potentially possessive of you you, um, but this is someone that's also sexually attracted as well um, but the same energy is like they're watching you know that same energy that this person is doing you know these two individuals they're kind of watching seeing what's going on the, the devil is watching as well so it's like this person could be watching you obsessively like they could be really stalking you obsessively or looking at your pictures excessively or maybe this is someone like I said that could be self-pleasuring um, we got the prodigy and this is called out of space so with this prodigy and out of space, I do feel like, you know, because when I think of space, I feel like this is someone that you are not communicating with. They're, you know, they're not dealing with you um, currently or you're not dealing with this person currently. You're not communicating with this person. They're not in your space. They're not in your cipher. They're not um, amongst your circle of friends at this time. Uh, but I feel like they are still watching you regardless. Um, and I do feel like a strong sense of even um, other people could be watching you. So be mindful. That's why I feel like um, a woman's intuition played as well. Uh, also, you were told to trust your intuition. We have the three of pentacles. So that's that same vibration of this, um, you know, financial discipline. I do feel someone wants to come in and build and nurture and cultivate a connection, build a partnership, build that alliance. Um, build that sense of cohesiveness with you uh, because I do feel like this is someone who does feel very strongly, very attracted to you. Um, and the strength card came out. I did mention that as well. So they see your strength and I feel like that's perhaps why they're potentially intimidated by you. Um, we do have this queen of pentacles and this is the epitome of self-sufficient, independent, self-reliant. You done built from the ground up. So you're all about building. And whoever you are dealing with, they have to come in with the same vibration and the five, the same energy. And so this person may see you as someone who, um, you know, um, you may not need or want for anything. Um, they may see you as someone who could be um, very strong-willed or uh, they see you doing a lot of different things. And it's very attractive. Um, but your stability is even more attractive. But this person wants to come in and match or fly in that vibration or, you know, in that... Um, in that same way because they see you know how hard you work um, and look what's right underneath this is that same person watching and spying and it's that ace of cups so they see you as a very maternal energy very nurturing energy they see you as someone that they can absolutely have that happy house happy spouse type of energy that happily ever after because that's that person that wants this new start um, they like what they see they like what they see beloveds and they're, and they're coming in for it we have um, people get ready by the impressions. So you've left an impression on this person. I feel like you've definitely left an impression. Uh, you've etched, um, you know, an impression on this person's heart. 
but um, get ready. You know, according to the impressions, they're telling you to get ready because they are absolutely coming in and they're coming in to, you know, to stake their ground, to stake claim, you know, like they're coming in because this is like they want to take it to the next level, which is commitment, which is, you know, marriage, which is giving you something tangible. And with the energy is gaining momentum, that means that means that it's coming sooner than you can imagine. Um, objects are closer than they appear, <laughs> beloveds. So you know, you may be picking up on that because, as I said, maybe there's a, a, a heightened sensitivity uh, at this time, you know, psychically uh, because of the energies. We are in that Aries um, energy, you know, and that's they rule the head. So I feel like, you know, your 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 dreams right now will be very impactful, uh, very informative, very powerful. And you need to trust that whatever you're feeling, trust that your intuition, trust that. But with this Nine of Pentacles, I feel someone's definitely coming in to offer you something real, something tangible. We have a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is this 48? Financial discipline and the energy is gaining momentum here for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. And we have the Six of Chalices. Look at that. Someone is pondering, daydreaming. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. This person sits around just thinking about you. They could be sitting back watching you from a distance, just watching the show. We have the two of pentacles. This is that person that has to break free. That's why spirit is saying the energy is gaining momentum because this is what they're dealing with. This is the energy of what's behind the scene, what's happening behind the scenes. So this person is trying to get their finances together because they've already left someone that they've discovered was a false person. This was a snake, a fake. This is a karmic. This is someone that was using them. This is definitely someone they could have found out was juggling them. You know, this is someone that they was kind of like stuck at that fork in a row between you or them. Is it him? Is it her? Is it she? Is it him? Like they was confused. And with this, the, you know, energy is gaining momentum. I feel like they are, you know, finally um, leaving a situation. But even though they was dealing with this, they never let go of you. They've always carried you in their spirit. They've always kept you in the back of their mind. You know, they've always carried you in their heart. Because remember, this financial discipline has a lot of pink and green, which deals with what? The heart chakra. And that 48, again, breaks down to 13, which is 4. So this is giving me the 4 of Pentacles. This is that person that's been holding on to you, but you have created distance and you've been kind of blocking them off because you already knew that they was juggling or they had something else going on. Intuitively, you may not have had evidence but you just knew intuitively because if somebody definitely like if you're a priority, someone's going to someone's going to show you that by making the time, the effort. But if you are not prioritized and that means somebody else is occupying that person's time, it don't take rocket science to know if you get in play now here. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's interested, they're going to show you interest. They're going to be consistent. It's going to be consistent and steady when somebody's playing games and you playing tag, you're it on the phone. Like who got time for that? So that's a side. like we're not children out here. We know when we get in play. That's why women's into push and play because some of you all was listening to your intuition and knew some issues was going on behind the scenes, and that's why you created boundaries. But this person is dealing with this karma dharma. This is what they're dealing with now. They're thinking back, you know, reflecting back on how real issues was due because your energy wasn't dark like whoever they was dealing with. Your energy wasn't that. Your energy was all love and light. You was all giving. You was all open. You was all available. And so they reminiscing. I reminisce on the love we had. I can feel you standing there alone like an angel trying to find his way home. <laughs> That's what he's doing. That's your energy. That's your sentiment. Like you can feel them standing there trying to find their way home because you already know what's going on. You already knew without knowing. Even if you're a masculine, you already knew. That someone was returning or someone is coming back because you can feel it in the air. Changes in the air. And with the Six of Cups, this person is returning. Remember, the end of this month, I believe it's the 20th or the 21st. Please do your due diligence to double check. But I know it's at the end of this month that Mercury goes retrograde. So remember that. That's why Spirit was also saying intuition. Trust your intuition. You know what I'm talking about? Like use your own intuition and discernment to make a decision, whether it's returning to someone from your past or whether you're going to embark on something, you know, with someone. I, it's all up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't submit your will to anyone. Don't do anything based off of what I say or what another reader says or what your homegirl, your friend say. Go within and find your answers. 
but trust your intuition and know that someone is definitely um, they're preparing they're thinking they're strategizing and they're reminiscing on you and they're thinking about you according to XXYYXX so they're thinking about you and there's going to be some changes Change, changes abound is what I heard. So why is this five change here for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Why is change here? May I have a message of peace, power, and protection. We're just under two hours. Beautiful time. Get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Why is this change here? Get a message of peace, power, and protection. I'm going to get some messages from Kipper and then we're going to wrap it up. And so we have beautiful death card. Look at that. This is what I said. Y'all went through a death, a transformation. But you see how the door is left ajar? And remember, I was speaking to, like, the door of opportunity or the window of opportunity. I feel like this is this is why I was picking up on that energy. Because I feel like you had a window of opportunity to take some sort of action and you did it. Because there was some sort of death. Something happened, whether it was a death of a loved one, whether it was a death of a relationship, demise of a relationship, friendships, connections, whatever it was, even the loss of a, a partnership, a business partnership, or a job, a career that you was in for a couple of years. It's like whatever that was, that was the door that led to your transformation. So whatever that death was, whatever that you experienced that felt like a death, that was a very harsh and, and, and tough pill to swallow. That's what led to this reemergence, to all of the success that you are uh, coming into. But every death is the regeneration of you, the rebirthing of you, a renewal of you. This is beautiful. And we have the wheel of fortune here. So something that's destined is coming, Scorpio. And I feel like this is why. The wheel is turning around in your favor. And with look at the bigger picture, I feel someone is finally realizing now is the time to shoot their, chop, their shot. Now is the time. Because the window of opportunity is here. Whatever was blocking this, whatever that relationship was that they were stuck in, whatever that karmic situation they was dealing with, whatever that emotional baggage they were carrying, it's like now the wheel is turning things around in the favor of this beautiful divine union. So this is very powerful energy. Very powerful energy, Scorpios. And I think we're going to wrap it up there because I'm seeing a message on my computer and I'm praying and hoping and wishing on a star that it doesn't interrupt. But this is your reading, beloveds. Surrender because something beautiful is coming in. I feel whoever you're attracting is releasing themselves from an ex or a karmic or some circumstance. And it is just going to be the very beautiful beginning of your love story with whoever your twin flame, your soulmate, or your spiritual partner. And it's going to be a happy ending. This is absolutely leading to success. I see the wheel of fortune. So that just confirms that whatever you're working on, you're mastering whatever craft you're working on, a honing, whatever skills, it's going to lead to victories, breakthroughs, success fortune, fame, and, and, and many opportunities of um, abundance for you all. But this is your beautiful reading, Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. Until next time, I send a big old fat ashe. If you found that the messages resonated for you, please be kind. Hit the like button, the share. Definitely hit the bell notification. And subscribe to the family, uh, the Soul Tribe, the Soul Family. Definitely check out my Etsy shop. You can find the link below um, in the description box. You could also book a consultation with me. I still have some available slots. Um, and thank you all for being here. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Till next time. Ashe.